Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. If you're new, welcome, and if not, welcome back. Today we are going to be reviewing Dimash once again. Today he's going to be singing for us War and Peace from 2021. I'm very excited to review this with you today. But before we get started, I want to give a very special shout out to Shamima. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting on my videos. Your support means the world to me, so thank you so, so much, Shamima. And if you would like the chance to be next video shout out, all you have to do is make Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment anything you like down below, but don't forget to use the hashtag subscription squad so that I can find your comment in the section here. Now, for those of you who are new, I'm a vocalist and a vocal coach. I break down videos here on YouTube and teach you kind of stylistically how a singer maybe sings a song. And so that is what we are doing today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a listen to Dimash. Well, that stage is crazy. I already have chills. <laughs> Oh, listen to that. Come on. Listen to the control he has in his falsetto there. These words are beautiful. I'm looking, I'm trying to listen, but also look down at the translation down here. What Dimash is doing here in his falsetto, not giving it all away. And then as I looked down at the words that he was singing, it made sense why he's keeping it so quiet in the beginning and why he didn't kind of like burst out into more of a full belt right there in that chorus where it felt like. So I'm gonna go back really fast because it, it felt like he was going to kind of open up there, but he didn't, he kept it quiet. And so I wanna kind of focus on the words that he's singing here so I can understand everything that's going on. Wow. 
sweet spot. I want to take it back here because I actually haven't heard Dimash sing this, or maybe I just haven't watched enough videos of him singing in this part of his vocal range, but I feel like it would be considered almost a high tenor for him because his voice goes beyond so many different vocal ranges. But here you can kind of feel it sounds lower for Dimash, but it's so beautiful and so full, just the way that he's singing here. I haven't heard him sing in such a an easy space there for him. And then, you know, he goes up into his sweet spot there, but I don't know, it just sounded so beautiful and so gorgeous right there in that middle spot for him. And so I wanna hear that again. Just right here, this like easy belt for him, it's beautiful. It's more of that poppy sound that Dimash has sometimes. It reminds me of his more poppy side. I love it. And then we go up into that perfect sweet spot for him. Yes, okay, so this song definitely feels a little bit more poppy to me than what I'm used to hearing Dimash sing like. I've only heard a couple of his original songs, and I remember if you guys were here for that a couple of months ago, I was just blown out of the water because I'd never heard that side of Dimash's voice. His voice is more in the middle of his mouth placement-wise, whereas when he sings, you know, in his operatic, it's pushed a little bit further back, or when he really, you know, digs into that pop, it kind of moves from the middle to the front. I really love this particular sound for Dimash because it just sounds so natural and easy for him. Like such a, just such a sweet spot. I just, I love when he sings in more of this placement, this poppy feel. I think he does a great job, everything he does, but I really enjoy this side of Dimash as well because I feel like I just don't get to see it as much as I see the other side too. <laughs> Chills again. <laughs> Did you hear that transition? That was like... There was no scoop, there was no hesitation. Dimash, what? Ah! <laughs> ah, I like don't even know what to say right there. Guys, what is going on? That was crazy, that was... Okay, like I said before, I love when Dimash is in this kind of, you know, different 
placement in his voice rather than I hear a lot of the operatic tones from Dimash. We, you guys have me review a lot of those. So I really like when I get to hear the different sounds of Dimash's vocal ability because it's just so incredible to me, you know, how many different sounds he has and it always blows me away. What I appreciate a lot about Dimash is how much passion and just how he puts everything into his performances. Like you can tell that he's really meaning what he's saying. And a lot of singers and performers nowadays, I feel like they, they sing their songs so many times or they sing a cover so many times that they don't really realize the words that they're saying anymore. And what I love about Dimash is I feel like he has the mindset that every time he sings a song, he needs to sing it like it's the first time he is singing it because someone in the audience or someone watching on YouTube, it's gonna be their first time ever watching this performance. And I feel like Dimash does a really great job of always making it feel like the first time for something. He's not annoyed or, you know, like, oh, I've sang this so many times, I, I don't wanna give it my all. He really give it, gives it his all in every performance that he does. This was just, just bar none, like this, the same thing. It's just so good every single time that I watch him. It's always feels like the first time that he's ever sung a song and it's fully out, you know? So I really enjoyed this performance. I thought it was amazing. So thank you so much for having me react to it. I hope you guys liked this. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 100K family. We are so, so close. And remember that one of the best ways you can support my channel is by visiting my Patreon. I would love to put your name here in the VIPs or even in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.